Okay. Been a lot of talk about the um, eBay snorkels for the JK versus the AEV. And I got the opportunity now to show you side by side why the Chinese crap is crap. First off, you can just tell the difference in the plastic. The AEV is much um, heavier. Um, it, it actually gives a little bit more. It doesn't seem as brittle. And it's, it just looks better. The finish on the bracketry and the way it was packaged is way superior. And a lot of you are going to say, well, you pay two and a half times the price for it. But, you know... I thought the same thing, but after seeing them side by side and seeing how poorly the uh, Chinese knockoff um, fit, that um, it's not worth it. Why well, trust your engine to that? I took some measurements before I started filming, and um, where I was really having issues was um with the alignment of the air box after the snorkel was installed and you can see right here how narrow that is and that actually goes over your fender and into the air box well the air box never would sit flat it was a good maybe an inch maybe a little bit um, less um, above the uh, mounting holes and I could install the fender brackets and if I had really wanted to, I'm sure I could have cranked down on them hard enough to get it close. But it was pulling the body of the snorkel itself all out of whack. And it, it just looked like crap. And I could tell when I took this one out of the box how much wider that is. And I'll show you with the tape in just a minute. And that's about the difference that I needed for mine to fit correctly. And I'll show you now. This notch right here is where it actually um, goes into the uh, body lines. This part goes over the fender into the snorkel. Well, if you measure from here to the very lip where it goes in your air box, is about five and a half inches. That's on the Chinese knockoff. Right here on the AEV. Oh, let me move around. You've got just a tad over six inches. That's gonna make a heck of a difference. Makes all the difference in the world in the way something fits. This area um, right here is also not as um, protruding on the AEV as it is on the Chinese knockoff, which would allow it to go down even more, more so. Now this is the Gen 2 AEV, which is um, it's a bigger diameter, and you can tell that right there versus that. But um, for all intents and purposes, the part I was concerned about was that. And that is a huge difference. Also, you notice on the Chinese knockoff where the uh, antenna goes through, it's closed. Or it goes, the antenna basically goes straight through that slot. And here on the AEV, only one side um, will contact the antenna or go around the base of the mount. And that will make a whole lot of difference. The brackets, um, I put these side by side. And they're also cut a little bit different. They're real close, but no cigar. You got the Chinese version on the right. And the AEV on the left. 
and you can see the um, angle here is a little bit different. You can nest them up together. You can see the um, AEV is actually a little bit longer, which again would uh, affect the fit. And I'm betting anything that the AEV drops right in like it's supposed to. The same on this bracket. You can see the um, Chinese version here is deeper, which would tell me that it's going to have it further away from the fender. Same small difference in length. The finish on them, well, the finish on everything is just vastly superior. And again, I mean, you pay a lot less for the Chinese version, but it doesn't matter what it costs. If it doesn't fit worth the crap, you know, why bother? The hood cutout is also um, cut different. AEV on the top versus the uh, Chicom shit on the bottom. And the rivets they send with this doesn't even, um, they don't even fit. You can tell the contours are different too. The stainless rivets that come with the um, AEV part are, um, they, I mean, they fit like they're supposed to. It's the correct size rivet. Like I said, if you look here, the plastic is just, it's very hard. I mean, it, it has no give whatsoever. I broke my factory airbox getting this thing out after I realized everything wasn't going to fit. I got a new one of those ordered too. I fixed it with epoxy, it'd probably be fine, but I'm not paranoid. This is actually a little more, um, has a little more give to it. The thickness actually seems about the same, but I mean, you can just, this is far superior quality plastic. And the finish looks, it looks like bed lining. It's textured, very nice. The inserts for the um, bolts are hexed. You're not going to have to worry about those spinning on you. Versus the Chinese version are just like um, standard nut inserts. You also see a lot of mold marks on the uh, Chinese crap. We don't have that on this. Everything as smooth as can be. I mean, this came with um, detailed instructions, very detailed packing list. Look like high grade fasteners, two AEB stickers, and I love stickers. Clamp is way heavier than what comes in that. And if this would have fit right, I mean, I'll be honest, I probably would have been satisfied. But after paying my money and not being able to um, have it work, I was like, you know what? The one the naysayers were right. It's shit. <coughs> And also, after I thought about it in other terms, you know, you got a company that spends a lot of money in R&D, and I work for a company that spends millions and millions and millions in R&D, and that would be like a company from China taking one of our 
engines basically clone it with inferior parts and selling it for half price and knocking me out of a job or my overtime which is how I buy my Jeep stuff and I wouldn't be a happy camper I mean I've, I've bought I don't know how much stuff from Walmart and I made in America and you know you can debate back and forth however you want to and um and I was kind of ambivalent about it but you know certain things if if it's competition that's one thing but when it's out and out rip off that's another and I feel guilty for even buying that piece of shit and folks there's a big difference but everybody's, you know, going to make up their own mind. And, you know, some guys have had great luck with the Chinese snorkels. They say they fit fine. No problems whatsoever. I would really like to see somebody fit one of these. I would really, really like to see them do the install and see how much they're tweaking it to get it to work. Because I'm telling you, they can say all they want to. If dimensionally the ones they got were like this, there's no way. There is no possible way that thing fits without bending the shit out of it. No way. Where the antenna goes through, it wouldn't even go down over the base far enough to allow it to um, contact the uh, windshield mount. But like I said, I'm betting this one does fit like it's supposed to and performs like it's supposed to. And I'm very glad I made the decision to um, get the real deal. Actually, my wife told me to. Get the good one. Nothing wrong with that. Well, I hope this has been informative. Um, I hope that being able to see them side by side and hearing my story can help some of you make up your own minds. And uh, main thing, enjoy your Jeep. Whatever you do to it or don't do to it. You can see the difference in the plastic there. Alright folks, y'all have a good one. Thank you.